auction activities of Nagaland coal creates controversy. Nagaland government issues advertisement inviting for auctioning of coal. Geology and mining inspection team visited Tuli sector. TACMCA strongly opposes Nagaland government's auction invitation. TACMCA claims Department of Geology and Mining has malified intention. Advertisement published at behest of people with vested interest claims TACMCA. TACMCA declares non-cooperation with operation of mining advertisement under Tully. This time, the story is about the biggest coal mine in Nagaland, that is Tuli sector in Mokokchung. On May 7, 2022, the Nagaland Directorate of Geology and Mining published an advertisement inviting for the auctioning of Nagaland coal, to which the Tuli Area Coal Miner Contractors Association has strongly opposed and rejected the invitation of the Directorate. Tuli in Mokokchung is the biggest coal mine in Nagaland which stores up to 50,000 metric tons of coal mine depot or stock including coal under it. There are at least five coal mining leaseholders, two coal outsource licensees of different firms and individuals along with 120 to 130 coal miners who are actively involved in coal mining business under Tuli sector in Mokokchung district as confirmed by TACMCA President and Secretary. Let us take you back to March 31, 2022 prior to publishing of the auctioning advertisement when the Directorate of Geology and Mining issued another order by the number DGM slash coal slash rec general slash 2022 for the cancellation and invalidation of all NOC for rake outward booking of Nagaland coal from various loading inputs. TSCMCA pointing to this order accused the Directorate of Geology and Mining of having malified intention. The association claimed that Geology and Mining Department arbitrarily and without any consultation cancelled and invalidated all 19 NOCs issued against eight firms. The Geology and Mining Department sent an inspection team to Tuli sector on April 28, 2022. But why? Well, TSCMCA alleges the Directorate's inspection team of only satisfying its eyes and confirming on the abundant availability of coal stock under Tuli sector. Meanwhile, on the same day, TSEMCA requested the inspection team to pursue and press for revocation of March 31 order. However, to the association's surprise, state government through GNM Directorate published the advertisement on May 7, 2022, inviting for auctioning of the coal. TSEMCA alleges the advertisement was published on the behest of some individual with vested interest. So what can TSCMCA do now? Angst by the attitude of the directorate, it held an emergency general meeting at Tuli Town on May 8, 2022, wherein it reportedly discussed the department's advertisement and unanimously resolved and declared non-cooperation with the directorate of geology and mining. The association also warned that if any firm, association or individual venturing and taking part in the alleged auctioning process and the subsequent execution of works would be doing so at their own peril. When Nagaland is amidst its prolonged Naga political issue, what will Nagaland government and the Department of 
geology and mining do with this coal scam now? Why did the Nagaland government and Department of Geology and Mining not listen to the request of the TACMCA? Why did the department publish the advertisement? To monitor this kind of scams is extremely tough. Will the Nagaland government show transparency? Only time will tell. Bureau Report, Nagaland TV.